Hello, welcome back to the channel everyone. So today I'm going to talk about Ural and Ural might not be a brand that you've heard of. They probably have a low production number, quite a small company and quite a niche market compared to the main manufacturers of course. But they are a really, really interesting product. I really love the ethos of the company so I just thought well let's do a video about them I'll learn a little bit about Ural and then I'll just share that with you guys and, and let me know what you think. Maybe someone will comment who's actually written one. So. Let's go back in the history a little bit of Ural. So Ural was formed back in 1940 and what had happened back then, as you, as you might know, there was a war between Russia and Finland before Russia's main involvement in World War II. So at the moment, Germany and Russia were allied. There was a, a Motilov a Ribbentrop Pact, so they were basically at, an uneasy peace, but they were at peace. But in the Russo-Finnish Russo War, Russia had had a bit of a bloody nose at the hands of Finland and they knew they needed to improve the mechanization of the Red Army. So one of the things they wanted was a motorcycle and sidecar. They didn't have the tech to develop one of these on their own so they covertly purchased um, five motorcycle sidecars from Germany, BMW uh, manufactured units, and then brought them back to the factory in Russia to basically reverse engineer them. Although the factory was originally going to be located in Moscow, in 1941, Operation Barbarossa comes along and Germany gets a huge uh, invasion force, careers into Russia, and they knew they had to move all of the factories, and not just those producing motorcycles, but every, everything, uh, armaments, uh, war weapons, and the motorcycles, all had to be moved a thousand kilometers to the east. And thus, the Ural factory was re-established in the Ural Mountains, hence the name, in a town called Erbit. So they started making uh, motorcycle sidecars and after the war they continued the development of these machines primarily for military purposes. They weren't available to the public. Okay so let's bring it up to modern day and Yule is, is now a company which you can buy a motorcycle sidecar from pri as a private citizen. It's not a military application only. They're owned by a US company and production was based still in Erbit. However, because there's now an embargo on Russian goods, in 2022 they've moved and relocated the factory to Kazakhstan. I think it's a good move for them because we don't really know how long the ongoing situation is going to last. And so Ural now can export their motorcycles to the US, which is one of their biggest markets. Um, they've got dealerships in all, all 50 states. So let's talk a little bit about the bike. So the main motorcycle they offer is the gear up and it's it's a motorcycle sidecar they don't sell motorcycles on their own it's a 42 horsepower 750 cc boxer twin and so this is everything i mentioned now you'll you'll kind of get an indication of the durability of it because the boxer heads are obviously easy to work on so less maintenance easier to repair in the field the suspension is uh, coil over shocks at the rear as you as you would imagine um, but also on the front as well it's kind of like a telelever system a very easy to bolt on and off they do actually offer a standard on the newer models nitron shocks and brembo brakes as well so the quality is there very quality components which are i guess aimed at being durable and cover a lot of miles in harsh conditions the other interesting thing about the, the bike is that it comes with the axle, rear axle, uh, being totally lockable. Um, and so if you're stuck, you can, as you would in a Land Rover, lock the diff and then both rear wheels will turn, um, which will hopefully get you out of a rut or, or if you're stuck in difficult terrain. Talking of the wheels, they're spoked wheels on super knobbly tyres. They're large diameter wheels, probably 20 or 21 inch. They also have disc brakes, but the brakes are behind the wheel. You can unbolt the wheel if you need to repair damage to the rim. They also come with loads of other cool features, like there's a metal fuel tank which is strapped to the rear. There's a folding shovel, fog lights everywhere. It, it's just a really robust, tough, rough and tough looking vehicle. I just think it looks really cool. Unfortunately, that all comes at a price. So you're looking at 23,000 if you were to buy one of these in the UK. In the US, I think maybe they've established their supply chain so it's a little bit cheaper, 19, uh, just under 20 grand essentially in, in dollars. The other cool thing about Yule is they do some of these nice special editions. Uh, they did a Star Wars one, they did a Baikal uh, one, an Air, 
uh, the ambassador to celebrate various anniversaries. And the most recent one that they're bringing out is the From Russia With Love. Uh, so it's based on a kind of 1960s Cold War spy theme. And um, those bikes have got special paint, chrome features, uh, a retro design elements to them. And they're actually, each model, with 35 limited editions, they're all sold out now, so you won't be able to get one. But, but each one is individually named with a Russian covert operative, a female name. So, for example, one of them is called Natasha. Um, but every individual special edition will have its own name. So you're actually a great company. They are operating in a little bit of a niche in the fact that they're quite expensive. $20,000, $23,000, pounds, I think, if you want to buy it here. Um, but if you do want the advantages of a sidecar and the extremely durable, easy to fix um, sort of design elements, then this could be the machine for you. Um, obviously, with a sidecar, you can carry more luggage, carry passengers, pets. Um, you can go anywhere. It's, it's got its advantages. Guys, I'm going to end the video there. Just a little bit of an intro to Ural. I hope you enjoyed it, and please let me know what you think in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one.